Hi guys, welcome to another James Bashford video. Stupid name, but this is part of the Bex Tech tutorial series section, whatever you want to call it. Um, today I'm going to be doing a, a bit out of the ordinary. Um, I'm going to teach you how to set up your own online radio station. Um, so you can DJ and you can talk and stuff. So all you need is a microphone, a reasonably good internet connection, and some perseverance because it can get a bit fiddly. Um, so basically what you want to do is you want to open up an internet browser. I've just got all of them set up. So you want to go over to shoutcast.com or just search shoutcast in here. Um, sorry, I will keep going, but quickly notice the new Bextech toolbar. You can download that at bextech.toolbar.fn. Um, but anyway, back to this, you just want to say, so here's this, and then you just want to say download forward slash be a DJ. Um, so great, so you're here, then I would open up another tab. There is a link in here, it says download Win Winamp, or you can just go to the Winamp website and just hit free download. But, um, just hit that, and then it will open up the Winamp, and yada yada yada, and you just hit free download. Um, then what you want to do is you want to download the DSP plugin, so that will just start a little thing. So you would just say run, and then it would do an install. Um, you don't have to open the README. I had to open the README because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But that's why I'm here. I'm going to tell you what to do. Then what you're going to do is you're going to open up Winamp. So I'm I'm going to just close it down because you see it opens automatically for me because that's how I set mine up. If I just close that down, so what you want to do. And so here you can have one amp, it's going to ask you what theme you want and yada yada yada. But all you need to do is hit control on your keyboard and P, um, and then it will bring up this. Now what it will look like is it will look something like this. So it will be at the top one, just scroll down, and then it will say DSP forward slash effect, and then he here's your two plugins. Click on the first one, brings this up. Um, so this is basically your shoutcast. This is this is basically what's going to run your radio station. Um, so you got your plugin set up, but now there's no point having the plugin when there's nothing to run it on. So basically, what you need now is unless you're willing, I'm not going to do tutorial for this, but unless you're willing to leave your computer on all the time, you have to have a static IP for this, and this is just a whole lot easier the way I'm showing you, but you can host it purely from your computer as a server. But I'm going to show you how to use an external hosting service called Listen to My Radio. So just listen, listen number to myradio.com. So here we have it. You just want to say sign up. Um, I've already got an account. You just put in a username, password, and then it will ask you for verification. And you just want to log on. Um, and then. Thankfully, you won't be able to see this bit. Okay. No. Okay, so here we go. So here's my my little radio um, station. So now what you want to do is you want to go down to where it says on forward slash off. Go here. Oh, when my computer works, hit turn on. Just refresh your page. It will all go green. Then go back to your desktop. Open up Winamp again. Wait for a minute to pop up. Okay. This moves out of the way that I can grab it. So here's your shark cast. Um, I can't entirely remember how I got it to start at the startup, but if not, just go um, Control P, and then you should be able to just click on it again. So you want to go from. So you'll start off with main. So just hit output. Hit output one. Then go back to your Internet Explorer. Copy where it says your server IP, copy that, paste that in your address, you want to copy your server port, pop that into your port, um, and then you will get a, you'll be prompted to insert a password for this, and then I'm just going to set this to 5, because otherwise it can be a little bit of a pain in the rear, then hit yellow pages, and then kind of say, okay, I'm just going to call my Bextech, because that's the name of the radio station, so now you've got your connection set up, then you want to go encoder. I change it to MP3 because that's the best. This, seem, this setting seems to work with me, but that's completely up to you. Um, and then all you need to do is connect to startup, and there we go. So I'm connected to my radio station. Um, so that's all very well. 
Um, so if I just show you what this looks like, so this is what it looked like to someone trying to listen. listen. Oh, hold on. To your radio station. So you just type in your whatever you choose. It will tell you. It tells you here what what can be accessed. So you just wait a few seconds for it to load. Um, should refresh, here we go. So this is what the radio station looks like basically. So there's this little play button and that's all hunky dory. Um, so now what you do is you kind of go, okay great, got my radio station set up, now what? Now what you want to do is just move this up so you can see all of it. Okay, there we go. So, so we're video. So, okay, so now you've got your input. So now you can select out of two things. So you've got Winamp, which means that's when you kind of DJ. So let's say, okay, on my radio station, let's play Meatloaf Bad Out of Hell. So now you just actually play it. I'm just going to switch my sound off. And then it should, if you refresh your browser, it should start playing through your radio station. Okay, just give it a sec. It's got a bit of a delay um, on mine anyway, but anyway, you can see the input level setting an output. Um, you should just refresh it a few times because it takes a little bit of time to get going. Uh, but anyway, to just play music, oh dear, just bring myself up, just open myself again, should now work. There you go. So we have our working radio station, it's picking up radio waves. So I don't know if you can hear that because I'm playing those through my speakers. Um, so the radio station's working but now you want to go, okay, well I want to do a shout out or um, I want to announce the song. So what you need to do is go input and then we go, okay, well this is when I'm recommended, just hit sound card. So here we go, I'm now broadcasting on the radio with my voice and that should come through the um, radio reset. Just go back to the map. And now we just wait. There's a little bit of a delay. And you should actually hear my voice over the radio. Or the music. But basically, there we go. You have a working radio station. You can switch it on and off. Whatever. Really, um, works really well. You can kind of email it to your friends. I'm now broadcasting on the radio. There you heard, um, that was my voice thing. My microphone's not the best, as you will know, because you're listening to this. But there you go, that's perfectly working. Um, so, that's pretty much the end of the video. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Comment, subscribe, rate the general YouTube stuff.